It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. If you're just joining the tournament during this game, well, there's a whole lot of tournament before this, but um, there's a whole lot of game before this, too. This game actually, Outdoor Survival, was begun during the Kriegbot game uh, for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. There were robots and also people struggling for survival. Uh, those that began during the robot portion... Um, were, were counted as survivors in terms of the movement chart they're going to use. Um, so we have four survivors already in play. Two are about to leave, actually. Banana is very close to exiting, and Sackbutt, unfortunately, his bohemian power didn't keep him alive long enough. Dude's got to eat, and not doing so caused his downfall. So we'll be drawing two new people soon, from this pile, in case you don't know what's going on, we're going through those who have lost earlier in the tournament and giving them another chance to kind of come back. And the first part of their chance is they have to survive the wilderness, and then they have to survive modern life uh, in the game Careers, which is going to come up after this. So we got to go through this whole pile. I don't know how much detail I'm going to go into, especially I noticed the more I played, kind of the more tedious it got. Partially, I mean, uh, this is a yeah, and it, there's also a lot of emotions tied up into it, too, so it's trouble. Um, but Sackbutt's gone, so we're, when they're gone, they go over here. This is the pile of death and rebirth, but there's not going to be any rebirth from this pile during this tournament. Um, and when they succeed, which I'm pretty sure, well, I'll just let you see what happens when Banana does that. So then we draw one that we can't see from the thing, and it's Bird. Bird. It's a fun guy. Taking Sackbutt's plate. And he's actually not going to start here. i got to look at the lost scenario. I think they start in the middle, and they just have to get out somewhere. But it's really a lot harder for them to move. They move a lot more randomly. All right, so we're using the lost scenario for Bird and for anyone else who is drawn from the pile from here on out. Um, they start here, and they have to get off any edge. That's going to make for, for uh, I think, it a little less tedious. Because before... I kind of just saw the same sort of patterns, right, as people just kept kind of going, trying to hit each base on their way, and then try to do a sprint on their way out. There was a little bit of deviation from that, and by before I mean during the Kriegbot game. So now people are going to have a choice as to which direction they want to go, which map edge they're going to go for. I'm going to do one little change from the last scenario, and that is I'm going to allow people to stop at the places and recharge like they could during the survival scenario. Uh, just to give them a little more chance, uh, their their direct so direction ability is a lot harder than the the survival scenario. So this two three here is the same as the one on the survival chart, which means they have to roll their first step randomly, but then they get to change directions. The one here means they move fully randomly via this little chart right there, and then the four five six is the same as the two, three, four here, where they get they can just move in a straight line. So they don't even have the ability to change direction, the fives and sixes, which uh, is going to make it a lot harder. At the same time, they have they don't have as far to go, right? They just have to get off the edge somewhere, and then they're good. They don't have to get clear across the board from east to west, like in the survival scenario. Banana's conservative play style worked well, and she made it off. So we're going to draw a new person. And here, oh god, I just played with him. What was his name? Smudge, that's right. He was in Tattlebots. We'll know your secrets. Which had eight players, and it was just, he only survived in one leg of the game, so I, I didn't get to know him too well, but he had an interesting potential love affair going. Um, I, Sadly, they were on different sides, and so it was not to be. So we're seeing that randomness really come through. I've played a few round of turns. I don't. I haven't been keeping track. Uh, Bird kept trying to go north. He picked that as his route. It seems shorter, although it's more treacherous. The north and the south. There's kind of maybe the south is probably a bit easier. It looks like possibly there's at least a base down here, but um, I guess the north is still a, a shorter route, and so that's the way Bird went. But he keeps. He he managed to hit this base once, but he keeps going off course and going other places, and now he's way over here, so he may just decide to continue that way, if he can even decide. Uh, Smudge, on the other hand, has just been wandering around this forest, 
uh, and he has to remain stationary here for a turn. This table seems harsher slightly than the, the survivor table, so our lost people have a harder time. Let's check back in with our survivors and our lost fellows. Um, we've had a, a we can see the effect of luck on the game. Red Tomato was in a better position than Desi. Uh, they're both around here because Desi had some bad luck in this area, but he managed to make it, make it out. Now he's just kind of cruising towards the end. Red Tomato, I pointed to this one. Red Tomato, he keeps getting random directions and got a thing where he lost a life level, and so now he's got a pretty clear shot, but he's going to be losing life levels fast because of where he is on his water track. And that's going to be a problem for him. Um, with our lost people, poor bird, he got way over here. He decided he just kept randomly going this way, so he'd just head this way. But then he had to sit there for two turns, and those were two turns he needed, so I think he's probably not going to make it. He still has one more turn left to wait out. That's going to make him lose two more life levels, unless he can get to water on the following turn. But there's not really a clear path to um, the, the way out unless he gets water. I guess he could sit there. This is one hope, is if he can control his movement and end up here and then just sit there and hope he doesn't get some bad events. Uh, in the meantime, um, Smudge, he had a, a couple of rolls of uh, high rolls where he could decide where he was going a bit more. And so he managed to make the trail. And so basically he just needs to go straight on his next turn and he's, he's out. Desi and Smudge have both made it and Bird is about to die unless he gets a really lucky roll right now. He got a one coming off of here, which is possibly the worst roll he could have gotten. I guess this would have, no, one was pretty bad. Um, and so he's gonna lose seven life levels at the end of this turn if he doesn't get to water, or if he doesn't get some water. And he doesn't get an event, so Bird is gone. It means we gotta draw three new people, and then we can discuss um, Red Tomato situation. Jules, back so soon. Nice. Oh, let's put her in Smudge's spot, actually. That's a bit more. There's some connection there. And then let's see who else we got. Cat as in cat. Oh, that's fun. Spent a lot of time with cat as in cat. And then finally, we'll grab from here for bird. And then Pegasus, wow. Pegasus is a very important figure. Okay, so they're all gonna be here. And I'll just go ahead and, we'll, we'll bypass Jules for a second. Turn order doesn't really matter in order to look at Red Tomato situation. So he's at, actually at J. I don't have a J counter in this color. I'm missing it. So I put this on there to, to remember that's J. And he can only move one space. Oh. He's gonna like die right at the edge, isn't he? Unless he gets a lucky roll. Let's see. Four, so that's fine. He can go one to get there. And then he has an event. It's animal insect and nothing happens except that he's gonna go down seven life levels and red tomato is also gone shoot i liked him all right so we got two and two there we'll draw another new guy we're gonna have a completely new set very soon uh you know who that is danimal pretty interesting here we have two pairs from two different legs and they're all going to be starting here and they're all going to be lost in the woods. Um, it's too bad there's no player interaction in this game. I thought about having something where people could risk their own lives to help each other, but I think it's better to just have the true outdoor survival experience. Funny quink eating just happened. Uh, Kaz and Cat and Pegasus both had their first moves and they ended up both rolling randomly and, and they both ended up going the exact same direction. So uh, that's gotta be kinda awkward both wandering around the forest like, oh, it's you, hey, you had lost as well? Yes, I am. Hmm. So what do we talk about? And now they both find themselves recovering at this base, although Pegasus is slightly ahead. It's her turn now. But she did not get very far. 
Back at the base, back with Ka. Awkward. So Ka purposely went this way uh, because it seems like a nice way to get out. And then Pegasus had to go that way. <laughs> it was random. Meanwhile, our other pair have gone separate routes to Animal to the north and uh, up with People Jewels to the south. They had diverged. Pegasus was taking the southerly route and Kaz and Cat the northerly route. But then Pegasus got a random roll, which caused her to take the same trail <laughs> that uh, Kaz and Cat was using. So now she's following in her footsteps. Uh, a little bit better on water than Ka, but both of them seem like they're gonna be able to make it out on their next turn, as does Jules up with people. That's that's the event roll for Pegasus. Jules roll, uh oh, random. Let's see which direction she's gonna go. She has to go the full movement this direction, four, which is straight down. Positivity works, people. Cat and Pegasus made it out together, one after the other, just like the friends they know they must be in their hearts, and they're going to be replaced by, oh, you're, I haven't seen you in a long time, Stubby, yeah, and Chopper, that's Chopper, right? Yeah, Chopper, all right, so let Chopper be the stately yellow, and Stubby can be the commoner blue. Vaughn had to go off to this mountain here. Uh, she got lost and she ended up on top of a mountain, but the experience gave her the personal fortitude to do with less water. She, she became strengthened by the hardship rather than beaten down. Things have been going well for all four of our lost people. They have actually not behaved as though they're that lost. They're both kind of on target. They're all on target for their own area. This is someone new, actually, because Danimal made it off the north end of the map. Well done, Danimal. Let's see who's new. And it is... Oh, what is your name? Your name is Weasel. I don't really remember too much about Weasel. Um, but here he is. Ready to survive. Chopper, Stubby, and Vaughn have all made it to safety. I'm thinking this this version of the game, my my few changes have made it made the survival rate a lot higher, which is good. They've also had some good rolls as well. Uh, but you know, I'm letting them stop whenever they pass by a base. I feel like there's signage or something that would let them see that there's a base there, and so it's making it easier. They they basically just. A lot really just depends on how they do from getting from one of the outposts to the end. And so far they've been doing well. That is except for Weasel. Weasel made it to here. But then he started sweating profusely and lost more water than he should have. He's right outside this base, but then he rolled a random movement. So we'll see if he makes it to the base or not. Six. That takes him right there. See, not that, not that hard. You should try it. Go out in the woods. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see who we got. We have, oh, Otto. And, oh, is that Dick? Yeah, Dick. And, oh, uh, Hair Bear, right? Yeah, Hair Bear. Whew. So our dudes don't all want to go the same way. They're going different ways. Uh, Weasel just got lost in the mountains over here. Let's see if he got an event, actually. No. Um, Otto's heading this way on the river. He's a sprinter, so he's going to sprint his way over. Uh, Dick is proud of his sense of direction, and he went due south. Uh, and then we have Hair Bear, who's heading off this way. And just because he had a random roll that put him one space in that direction. He's like, oh, what, me worry? I'll just go on. He doesn't think it's that big of a deal, or that's going to be that much trouble for the big guy. Weasel got lost again, but luckily his random roll took him right back to base. So, sometimes it's okay to be lost. You might find where you're going better than, or just as well as if you go the direction you aim to go. And all of our people made it out. I think I might need to think about how to make this a little more deadly. Otherwise, our game of careers is just going to be too big for me to handle. It would be fun to just have them all be in careers, but we've already eliminated some people. And so... Those people got lucky in different respects. 
part of luck is being in the right place at the right time. And so they were, they were here when they had the easy route. Ooh, Curly, the villain who ended up being not so, not so scary in his final appearance. Oh, and that's Watermelon, yes, from the French leg on the Battlestar Galactica. And your name is Cobweb, that's right. Sorry, my, I'm a little bit tired most days, so I, my memory isn't what it once was. And then, who could forget Half Pint? All right, Half Pint and Curly are reunited here. We'll see what happens. And we'll see what kind of game we're going to play. It might just continue how it is. It's got a nice mindless quality to it, kind of like crocheting or washing dishes. Um, but it might be, might be good if some more people died. But I really don't want any of these people to die, so that's kind of where I'm stuck. But we'll find out next time. On the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, this is English Leg 1. English slash... What's the other? Rue Pasha. English slash Rue slash Pasha leg. One. Outdoor survival.